Hello people, I'm back again with another episode of Cooking with One Chef Rob. Uh, today we're going to be doing a seafood boiling and um, we'll show you guys what we have here. So like what we're going to be cooking. We have the jumbo uh, crab legs with um, Robin Wood, lumberjack um, sausage, very important. Got to be that particular sausage. Also we have uh, lobster tail with um, red potato featuring with uh, corn on the cob and um, fresh shrimp and also um, eggs. Um, here we have some of our seasoning that we're going to be incorporating which is um, uh, butter, uh, country top butter with crawfish, shrimp and crabs and we've got some of our seasoning. As we go, I will go ahead and tell you guys um, the amount to put on. Here is basically we're going to start uh, boiling uh, some of the, the all this thing to, to boil. So what we're going to do take this jumbo pot right here. We're going to fill it up with water. Crab is very difficult. Not even not the season. Not the season. Because I'm crab, not the shrimp. It's not that difficult to. Um, not that difficult to get them cooked because the majority of the time some of them are already cooked already. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is um, add some some onion powder. potatoes so that way uh, you can cut it while after it's cooked. Also the eggs will take a little bit longer to cook. So what I'm going to do is um, add some of the eggs on there so they can start boiling. Once the uh, egg is, is fully cooked what I'll do I'll remove the shell and just add it on the bowl. No, you don't. Okay. 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 So the eggs will take a little bit longer to cook. So what I'm going to do is um, add some of the eggs on there so they can start boiling. Once the uh, egg is, is fully cooked, what I'll do, I'll remove the shell and just add it on the bowl. And you guys will get to see how I incorporate that. We gotta make sure we don't break the egg so that way we could easily remove the shell once it's cooked. And now the next step I'm going to do, I like to, I'm going to have to clean it up. And the um, best way to clean up the shrimp, um, is that pot right here, you just gotta take the knife. Take the knife. Then you just open up the, the peel. Once you see this is um, clean, it'll have the manure. It's um, what usually be in the shrimp. That's what a lot of people don't know. Whenever you cook shrimp and you don't clean that part, it's like kind of, it's not tasteful. So it has like a lot of, uh, you know, of stuff in there. So you just gotta utilize the knife and you just take the knife and stick it to the back. Once you open it, you don't see the vein. That means it's good to go. I, I usually go one by one to check them. That's why sometimes when you eat the shrimp like that with the sh um, with the actual shell, and if you basically don't clean it up automatically, you would taste kind of like kind of like mud or or kind of like a little rock and things like that. Okay. 
Let's take like an extra four, four or five minutes to do that. People it's very important to do that because it makes the fish taste more totally, um, different than you leaving the thing there. Do this one right here. Yeah, that's nice. Watch out. I like to share it with them on purpose because it's kind of like um, one season they want to go together. So the shell actually takes much better. They don't remove the shell and leave the shell like this. They're probably going to cut the shell open. They should not eat it. They're not going to eat it. All right. I'm going to show them how the fish takes. That one's going to go. You want to do a small step that's easy. Let me show you clean. So I'm all about. I'm all about. I'm clean. This one right here. Let's take that thing. Okay, now since I have cleaned the shrimp, cleaned the manure, some people might want to say it lightly or, or, or say the digestion system. I'll take the, the lemon and just clean it, clean it with the lemon. And also it leaves a spice, it leaves a, a special tasting once you um, utilize the lemon. Like I told you in the last episode, Lemon is basically like a, it's like a bleach when you have a dirty white t-shirt uh, and you use the bleach and clean it. This is like a, a edible bleach, basically. You can wash your hands with this, you know, basically, you can wash your hands with this, you can wash your hands with this, you can wash your hands with this, you can wash your hands with this. This is a form of a shrimp, um, this is lo lobster tail. I'm going to do the same thing with the lobster tail also because you don't want to um, have the, the vein that's in the back of the lobster. And basically it's the same, same way. Like cut the back. It's the same thing. And once you open it, you see there's no vein. But I'm gonna rinse it anyway. And I'm gonna do the same for this one. It's clean also, but you rinsed it, and guess what I'm using? Same thing. I'm going to use that bleach again. That's the edible bleach. Then you can let that chill here. And this right here. Make sure everything is clean. This one I'm all this preparation of cooking is doing the prepping. You do the prepping and basically everything else will be, will be basic. So as you can see, the shrimp right now is changing color because of acid on um, the lemon basically cleans it and it basically sanitizes it. So if there was any germs, the germs would be deceased. So since we already prepped on the lobster and also the shrimp, now I'm going to cut the sausage, which will be Give um, the dish a little special flavor. A lot of people don't, don't eat sausage like that. Sometimes I get turkey sausage if they don't um, eat basically sausage like that. But Roger Wood Lumberjack is one of the great smoked sausage. It enhances the taste of the, of, of, um, the bowl, the seafood bowl. So now I'm going to um, put the sausage. You see that pot? So you gotta make sure. You gotta make certain that the sausage are fully cooked also. Remove the convertible on top of uh, the pot and you put the sausage in. You smell all that good cooking right now. Uh, delicious. So now, uh, long onion. So do some cilantro. And uh, these are called elephant garlic. And some uh, these season that we're going to be incorporated, but I like to do everything basically from from, from scratch. So we're going to wash this. It's going to be a spicy dish. Gotta make sure everything is clean and
And I'm gonna open up some of this butter right here. Take some of these butter, take half of that, put them on there. This right here. Now, let's look at this and remove the convertible top. Uh, run the cilantro, pepper, also fresh garlic. Butter is going to be melting. What I like to incorporate with um, this dish is paprika. Paprika is uh, it's a little spicy. Top of um, season, it's going to give um, it's going to give the dish nice coloration. Again, it's going to be a spicy dish. So we're going to incorporate that with um, chili powder. A little chili powder, like a teaspoon of chili powder. Very important, coarsest pepper. Horses pepper. Apply a little bit more milk. And we'll put some little onion, onion powder, about a teaspoon. We have garlic already on it, but I like to add more garlic, like a half a teaspoon of garlic. Consolidated with the fresh garlic, and it, something that makes everything taste good is lemon pepper. You just put like half a teaspoon of lemon pepper. Again, a little bit of garlic salt. And now, the butter starting to season up. Consolidating all the herbs together. As you can see now, remove the convertible top. Set a bowl, bowl point. We're going to go ahead and Put the convertible back on and uh, put it at number six and I let all the all the seasoning comes together. Then we'll, we'll show you, I'm gonna put some more stuff on there to go ahead and complete the special sauce. Okay, now we have um, the ingredients coming along. So what I usually do is um, I usually cook it like that to make sure all the tasting is coming up, coming on flavorful. Now, what this, um, some of the secret uh, component that you have to add on there is a little bit of um, 
sea salt, which is some coarse sea salt, and not too much of it because some of these um, have probably half a teaspoon of, of coarse salt and um, one of the um, secret sauce to honey. Once you add a little honey on to the dish, you give it a little bit of flavor. A little more flavorful. Add basically about two teaspoons of honey. This is a large teaspoon. Two teaspoon of honey. And I add a little bit of that crawfish because we don't want it to be too salty. Because the crab is already have uh, some type of salt in it when it comes. Okay. I'm gonna put the top back on. Taste it a little bit. So, so now we have the crab. It's been sitting there. Um, what I'm going to do is remove the eggs so that way I can remove uh, the shell. And um, this is what we're going to add on there. As you can see, the sausage being cooked. And the crab here. Mixing the, the season with the crab and the shrimp. We're going to incorporate some of the sauce in here. So now I just put the eggs on this and I'm going to transfer some of the sauce right here with the eggs. We basically have the sauce established. So now what we're going to do is add more butter. This is land or lake butter. We're going to put one butter in here. And one over here with the eggs. Now you might say, you might think why am I doing two different things, but at the conclusion, everything's going to incorporate together. It's going to be infusionized with um, the crab, also the vegetable, um, the, the potato, and the corn. What we're going to do now, we're going to put the, the crab in, in the pot. Let it get lightly steamed. Put the crab to keep the crab. Yes, um, people were always um, filming my battery basically when they see on the camera. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is show you the reason why I put the egg on there. Because at the end of the day, everything's going to come together. So we can 
we put the, the lobster over here. You could even do it that way. Because they're all going to be going to the same bed at the end. So these are already getting cooked. I've been prepped. We put the shrimps over here. Some of them over here with the eggs. Just lit it up. Now, we have those potatoes that I have removed. We could put it on either dish. So if some people want to eat like um, sausage, I'll just put it on, on one side. So that way, everybody um, like the food, like how they like it, without sausage or with sausage. So now, I'm putting some of these sausages back in there. with um, the corn on the top. Now I'm putting on the convertible top on each of the food sauce. And let it steam for another 10, 15 minutes, about another 10, 10, 15 minutes because you don't need to cook shrimps and um, lobster for that long. And following that, we're going to infuse everything together and uh, we're going to put it on the get the fuck out of my way I table and we're going to have a special guest which is going to be tasting the food to see how they like it and we'll go on from there now people um the end result is here um we're going to go ahead and uh, have a couple guest taster to um, find out how the food is in the future uh, episode um, you guys can reply to me on, on the comment to see if you want to be a guest taster after I cook a dish um, over here we have um, Africa um, the mezzanine and um, also which is uh, my producer my camera um, this is Robin A she's uh, my other guest uh, taster we're going to go ahead and um, taste the food, plate it, see how, how it goes, and um, you guys um, give me your honest opinion. Sauce, right? this is Fantastic. Okay, as um my guest taster basically confirmed that the food was um was good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try it myself. See the And um, people, if you like, share, like, comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The episode's going to be airing every Sunday on um, 7 p.m. on the YouTube um, under One Chef Rob. Mm -hmm. I 
could still taste the lemon that I had um, washed up with shrimp with. Superb, superb. If you like, click on like, comment, and subscribe. This um conclude um the episode of. Cooking it with um, one, one Chef Rob. Check me out on Sundays. 7 p.m. on Sundays. Then again, if you want to be part of um, the guest for my next, um, my next cooking show next time, just keep me informed. Um, stay six feet away. Wash your hands. Stay away from coronavirus. And I want to thank you guys tremendously for watching this. And um, there's more to come. And you have a fantastic um, a weekend. And I mean, week. And also, try, try it for your family. The first time, it might not come accordingly, but give it a try. Women love um, seafood. Is that mad at you? Cook for, for um, your daughter, your, your mom, your auntie, your spouse. Okay? And again, it's another live showing for um, Cooking One Chef Rob. Thank you and have a good night.